Okay, so let's go back to our app and uh, we have our categories. Uh, we can click in. Um, you can click in and, and browse. You can reply. That's going to open up an email with the, the poster. You can share with a friend and you can flag the post. Um, and the cool thing about uh, about this app in Glide is this is completely public, just like Craigslist. No one has to create an account to browse um, and to reply to the posts. Um, but we do want a way for people to actually uh, create these posts. Um, but we want to do. But we what we want to do is create a second app um, in Glide um, that's looking at the same spreadsheet. So what you can do is you can have multiple apps in Glide that are kind of pointed to the same spreadsheet, and this other second app users are going to log in because you're going to have to create an account um, to create a post. Um, the reason is uh, when someone creates a post, uh, we want to make sure that there's a way to contact them um, and we want them to be able to go in and manage their post that they create. Um, so the way we're going to accomplish this, like I said, is we're going to have this main app that uh, you know users are going to be able to all access. And then we're going to have a separate app uh, that's for uh, anyone who wants to create an account and actually make posts. Um, and what we're going to have is a button here. So this tab um, is going to have a button, uh, which is going to uh, actually allow users to click that, and then it's going to take them to the other app, ask them to log in, and create a post. So I'll show you how this flow is going to look. So the first thing is we need to go back to our app, um, sorry, our spreadsheet. Let's add a new tab. And this is just going to be called create post. And the reason we need this is we need a button uh, to go to a custom link that we um, we're going to input. Um, so what you, you need a separate tab for this. Um, so I'm just going to label this link and um, that works. And let's go back to glide now. Um, let's go to the dashboard. And so we'll open up a dashboard in a separate tab. Uh, let's create app from uh, from Google Sheet, and we want to use that same Google Sheet. So I'm Craigslist app. I'm going to select it, and great. So now we're created a second app. Let's go first to our to our sign in settings here. So let's go to our settings. Let's go to general uh, under name. Let's change this to. Craigslist post under sign in. Let's change this to public with email, which is going to require people to create an account and enter their email. It can allow people to create a use it with a Google account. Under greeting, let's say um, create your account, and then under description, let's say please. Enter your email to make a post. Cool. And you can do obviously whatever uh, you want with that, but I'm just going to do it simple for now. And let's go to tabs here. And uh, actually, uh, let's go back to our uh, spreadsheet, Craigslist app. Let's create a new tab called users. And under users, um, Let's have email, um, name, and photo. All right, cool. And just go ahead and fill in some data. So I'm going to put in a fake email here, like three at gmail.com, name is Seth. And let's go back to our app. And uh, actually, let's go back. Uh, we don't even really need name. Uh, we do still need these headers, I believe, because we need that to connect so Glide knows that this is our user table. Uh, but we really only need email here. Uh, so let's go back to our app. And uh, let's go back to our settings under sign in. Uh, oops. Uh, so this is our uh, original app, which we're going to keep at public because we want anyone to go to it. Um, sorry, we'll go to our post app. And uh, this is the one with users. So we're going to go ahead uh, after you um, have already changed it to pu public with email sign in. Go to the top left, click the sign in 
Um, and under sheet, um, let's refresh here. Under sheet, we want it to be users. Name, make sure it all matches. And there we go, perfect. Um, so uh, the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and click share and let's publish it. Um, and let's, you can name this app link, whatever you want. I'm just going to name this post to create, uh, how about create a post dot glide app dot IO. And looks like that's available. So I just copied it and let's go back to our uh, our spreadsheet real quick. So the Craigslist app and under create post under link, just paste that in, paste in that uh, URL for the link. Um, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and back to our original app. So we have two apps now. We have the app where people are gonna log in to create a post. We have, and we have the public app. Let's go ahead and publish this as well. And here, why don't we call this, um, how about demo Craigslist? So, perfect. So let's refresh, reload the sheet on our public app. Let's go back to our tabs. Um, let's add a tab. Uh, it's gonna be called post. And the source is going to be create post. Um, under icons, uh, maybe this can be, let's see if there's a, um, a kind of a post icon. Um, and perfect, let's go back real quick. Let's remove the posts. Let's put that down to hidden tabs. We don't need that tab. And under categories, um, let's just change that to kind of a home. Okay, so under post, um, go back to layout, go back to change it to details so you can add whatever component you want. Uh, let's uh, delete uh, everything. And first let's add a text component um, and then change it. This is from data, which means that you're pulling it in from the spreadsheet, uh, what, what it says, but we want it just be custom. We want to type whatever we want. So let's type, uh, create, um, a post. How about create your own post and let's change the style of the headline one. Let's go back. Uh, under features in this component. Um, actually, that's fine. Uh, let's just go back and uh, add a button. And then under features here, the action should be open link. The target is the link, which is uh, that link that we put in, which is the, the actual app to create your post. Uh, and let's change it to um, continue. Uh, let's go back to categories. So, uh, perfect. So we have categories. You can, uh, um, see the different categories. You can reply everything that we've created before. And now there's a second tab called post where you can create your own post. And, um, if you hit continue, let's go ahead and do this. It should open up a new, uh, tab or in your, in your, on your phone, it would open up a new tab. Um, and here we just create our account. Awesome. Um, let's do one more thing to make these match a little bit more. Let's go ahead to our settings and let's change the color to a blue. And why don't we do the same thing under our posting app? Let's go to the settings and let's change it to blue. Perfect. Um, great. So now we actually need to build the ability for users to um, create their post. So first in tabs, uh, let's remove everything but posts. And here under posts, let's go to layout and let's change to details and let's remove everything. Uh, so now we just have a blank uh, uh, screen. 
let's add a button, a form button. And this is gonna be called uh, create post. And under features, we want the action to be show form. Uh, title can be form, that's fine. Uh, so let's click on that. Uh, so now this is where someone's gonna actually create their posting. So let's go, we want the destination to be on posts. And let's clear everything out. Um, and let's add date, time, special value, which is gonna go to the created at. Um, let's add email, user's email, not um, any, any of the others. We actually want the user's email here to go to uh, email. Um, let's add text entry. The column is gonna be title. Let's make that required. Let's add a, another text entry called description. Let's make that required as well. Uh, let's add another um, component called choice. And the sheet, uh, source sheet is gonna be categories. The values are the name. So basically what this is doing is going into our categories um, sheet. And as you add new categories also, uh, people will have more categories to choose from. Um, so go back to your app. Uh, so categories, we're gonna display as name and the data is going to be category. And the design is gonna be this dropdown. So we're gonna make that required as well. Let's add an upload, which is gonna be an image picker for the photo. And let's not make this required, but let's have it there. And let's add a location. And this is, uh, oh, let's exit out of there. Sorry, let's add a text entry, uh, but the column is going to be location. And the title is going to be location. And let's make this required as well. Um, and this also, if you want to get uh, um, more complicated with your app, you could have this be a drop down that people are choosing of specific locations or neighborhoods. It just depends on uh, what kind of app you want to build. Um, but I'm going to leave it open ended here. So location. And I think that's everything. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and create a post. Um, so I'm going to go back to Craigslist, and you can do the same thing. Um, and let's actually fill everything in. And for the photo, um, you can actually download, either put in a fake photo already off your phone or your computer, um, or download the photo off Craigslist. So I'm going to pause the video and fill this out on my own. All right, so I went ahead, I filled in this, this um, uh, car um, that's for sale. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and submit it. Awesome, so I sent it and let's go to our uh, spreadsheet and let's go to our posts and great. So you can see now uh, this was sent and my email is also in as well, which is great. So if anyone was going to um, reply to this post, it would they could send an email to me. Let's go back to the, uh, the posts. And the last thing I wanna do is add a tab for people to, users who created posts to edit their posts and also to uh, just to manage the posts that they created. So let's go to, to tabs and let's add a new tab called uh, my posts. Um, Actually, let's delete that. We don't need another tab. I think we can all do it under one under one page. Um, so let's go ahead and add an inline list. Uh, the values are going to be posts. Um, so right now it's showing every post. We want to go to features and we want to filter where email is signed in user. So now you can see it's only showing me the post that I created. So let's go back to layout and um, let's edit this a little bit. So we want the details to be the description, the caption to be the, the date and the image to be the photo. And we can, uh, how about title can be my posts and oops. Um, 
So here you can see you also could make it a different design, like a card or a tile. Um, I kind of like the list. So here, uh, let's click into this. Uh, we need to style this the same way that we styled um, our previous page uh, for actual users who are not uh, signed in. But let's go ahead and remove the description. Let's go back. Let's add a text field with the description here. Uh, let's add, um, what else do we need to change about this? Um, um, I think that's it for now, because uh, we really just need them to change the description, the name, and the image. And let's go to edit, and let's say allow users to edit. Okay, perfect. Um, so here is everything in that post. Uh, so all we need to do is uh, decide what we want users to be able to change. So I don't think we want them to be able to change the date. The title, yes. The description, yes. The category, I would say yes, um, although we do need to change that to a choice. So let's remove that for now. The image, yeah. Uh, we're not gonna let them change their email um, and they can change the location as well. Um, and let's also add a delete uh, button. So users can also delete their own post. Um, so let's add one more component. It's going to be a choice component. Uh, it's going to be under categories. Uh, the value is name, same thing. The name is name. Uh, and the design is going to be category, so the title. And uh, great. So this is um, everything that users can update. And then we just have to make sure that everything is matched where it should. So this category should be in the category description. Cool. So hit done. So now users who uh, created a post, they can create a new post here. They can also go into their own posts. They can edit it. They can edit the information and they can even delete their own post. All right, awesome. So let's go back and let's see how this whole flow kind of works. So. Um, so let's go back to our, uh, so we have two apps now. We have the posting app and the general app. Uh, so under categories, okay, so let's go to share. Um, I'm just gonna go into the, the URL, oops, let's see, glide app dot, oops, not glide apps, glide app dot io. And awesome. So what's cool about this is this uh, um, app is completely, there's no login at all. Anyone can view it. Uh, so here's the categories that we created. And let's go into for sale. And this is cool. So this is that car that we just posted. Um, it's already showing up in for sale. So you can click into it. Uh, it has the information about it. Uh, you can, um, uh, reply, you can share with a friend, you can flag the post. Um, and um, let's say you want to actually create your own post, so you can click post, uh, create your own post, you hit continue. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And what that's going to do is create a, uh, a second page for you here, so you create your account. Um, let's go ahead and do that real quick. And this is actually going to log me into my account that I already created um, with, uh, because I already used this email. So let's see, when I do this, that van that we put in the, as the demo should also be showing up. Five, seven, four, two, seven. Let's sign in. And awesome. So here I could create a new post. Um, I can see my existing posts. Um, and yeah, so everything's working great.